Hello everyone. Today I am here to explain you all about B tree. B tree is a self balanced search tree with multiple keys in every node and more than two children for every node. This is a bit like the simple tree, but it has to follow some certain properties. So let's see what are those properties. All the leaf nodes must be at same level. That is, leaf. What is leaf node? Leaf node is a node which has no further children nodes. So all these leaf nodes must be at same level. Maximum keys equal to m minus one keys and minimum keys equal to m by two minus one keys, except for the root node. All the non-leaf node except root node must have at least m by two children. If the root node is non-leaf node, then it must have at least two children. All the keys within the node must be in ascending order. While we are arranging the elements in the tree, we have to always follow the ascending order format. I'll, this concept will be better understood with the help of some examples. So let's move on for the examples. Before I take the examples, I would like to say you all that this B tree has two cases. One is the order even and the case two is for the order odd. So now we'll be seeing case one. Here I have taken order equal to even equal to m equal to 4. And the example is 4, 5, 9, 2, 1, 7, 8, 3, 10. So here m equal to 4. So what I'll be doing is we have to follow the rule m minus 1 keys. So 4 minus 1 equal to 3 keys. So we'll be getting these 3 keys. After I get these three keys, I'll have to choose the first three elements to place in this. Now as 4, 5, 9 are already in the ascending format, I'll readily put these elements over here as 4, 5 and 9. Later after 9, I have to insert 2. So before I insert, here what I'll be saying is, here 4, 5, 9 only we can place three elements, that is three key nodes, not more than that as the rule gets violet because we always need m minus 1 key nodes. So firstly, we'll arrange it in the ascending order as 4, 2, 4, 5 and 9. Later, we'll take the middle element outside. So here, 5 will be coming out. As the 5 comes out, it will go upside and form a separate root node and the rest element smaller than 5 will be placed to the left hand side and the larger element will be placed on the right hand side. So this is that format. Later after 2, I have to insert 1. So 1 is smaller than 5. And here we have uh, 2 and 4, only 2 key nodes filled. So one more key node will be actually vacant. So we can directly place 1 over here. After 1, we have to insert 7. 7 is greater than 5. And next to 5, only one element is filled. That's why there are still two places vacant. So we can directly place 7 and we have to make it in the ascending order. So 7 and then 9. Then we have to insert 8. So 8 is obviously greater than 5. So it has to be placed on the right hand side. And here only 7 and 9. Only two key nodes are filled. So one key node is vacant. So we'll again arrange it in the ascending order and then we'll place it over here. And then it looks in this format. After this, I have to insert 3. 3 is smaller than 5, so it has to be placed on the left hand side. But the problem here we'll be facing is the 3 key nodes are completely filled. So what we'll be doing is we'll be arranging them in the ascending order and then taking their middle element above. So above how is it because it is here only 5 single element is placed. So still 2 more places are vacant. So we'll shift 3 over there and then the smaller elements than 3 will be placed on the left hand side. Greater element will be placed on the right hand side. And the greater elements than 5 are placed on the right hand side of 5. Now I have to insert 10. 10 is greater than 5. So again we have to place it on the right hand side over here. But the problem is the 3 key nodes are completely filled. So what I'll be doing is I'll arrange them in the ascending order. After I arrange it in the ascending order, I'll take the middle element outside. As I take the middle element outside that will go over here with 3, 5, 9 as in the recently step we had took only 3 and 5. So one place is, was still vacant. So I will be 
placing that element over there and then the smaller element on the left hand side and the greater element on the right hand side and the complete tree will be completed in this manner. Now, let's move to case 2. What is this case 2? In case 2, we'll be having order odd. So, here I have taken m equal to 3. So, now as the according to the rule, m minus 1 equal to number of keys. So, 3 minus 1 equal to 2 keys. So, I have took 2 keys and we have to insert first 2 elements. And first 2 elements should be in ascending order and these here over here, 5, 4, 5, 9, 2, 1, 10, 7, 8, 3, 4 and 5 are in already in ascending format. So, I will be directly placing them as 4 and 5. Later, I have to insert 9. 9 is, uh, first we will arrange it in the ascending order and then we will take the middle element. Here, the middle element is 5. We will be removing that upside. The same process repeats again. So, here 5 I have taken upward and 4 should be placed on the left hand side and 9 should be placed on the right hand side. Now, I have to insert 2. 2 is smaller than 5 and next to 5 only one element is placed. As here it is 2 keys, so we, we have one more key node vacant. So, we can directly put 2 over here and this is the insertion of 2. Now, we have to insert 1. 1 is actually smaller than 5. So, what we'll be doing is, firstly, we'll arrange it in the ascending order and then we'll take the middle element outside. So, 2 will be coming out and then we'll place it upside as only single node was present as we can have two key nodes at a time as it is m minus 1 that is equal to two keys. So, 2 I'll be taking it out and smaller element than 2 will be placed on the left hand side, greater element than 2 is placed on the right hand side and the greater element than 5 is placed on the right hand side. So, this is nothing but the insertion of 1. Now, I have to insert 10. 10 is greater than 5, so it has to be placed on the right hand side of 5. And here, uh, only one element has been filled. So, one more element is still vacant, so we can directly place 10 over there. Now, we have to insert 7. So, while inserting 7, 7 is greater than 5, so it has to be placed on the right hand side. But the problem is... Uh, here 9 and 10 are completely filled and because we need only 2 keys over here. So what I'll be doing is I'll add 7 here and make it in the ascending order and then I'll take the middle element outside. So middle element has to be placed over here. But again the problem is that 2, 5, 2 key nodes are completely filled. So what I'll be doing is I'll take this part first into consideration and then I'll take the middle element outside that is 5 will be coming out and 5 will become the root node and 5 is placed over there above. Then the smaller element than 5 has to be placed on the left hand side and the larger element than 5 has to be placed on the right hand side. As here 2 is smaller so it is being placed on the left hand side and 9 is larger than 5 so it is being placed on the right hand side. Then 1 is smaller than 2 so on left and 4 is greater than 2 so on right and 9 for 9, 7 is smaller than 9, so on left hand side and 10 is greater than 9, so it on the right hand side. Now, after this, I want to insert 8. So, 8 is greater than 5, so it has to be placed on the right hand side. But, it is smaller than 9, so it has to be placed on the left hand side. And on the left hand side, only one key node is completely filled and one more key node is still vacant. So, I'll arrange it in the ascending order and then I'll place it over here. And then the insertion of 8 is completed. Now I have to insert 3. 3 is smaller than 5. So it has to be placed on the left hand side over here. And now here 2 is there. And two, 3 is greater than 2. So it has to be placed on the right hand side. But here only one element is filled. So we'll be, we have one more vacant element key node. So we can directly place 3 over here. And this is the complete look of the elements given. And here is the complete look of B tree. Hence, the tree is completed. So, this was nothing but B tree. So, for this B tree, there are three main concepts. That is, one, we have to check the order. Then, we have to check the key nodes. And then, we have to arrange it in the ascending order. And if the key nodes are completed, we have to divide it. And then, solve the steps. So, this was nothing but B tree. So now, I'll be signing off from my video. Thank you so much.